Alrighty guys, fish on. Oh, nice. Oh yeah! Right, let's see what she weighs. Three pound on the dot. Nice! Take this one back. Check that out guys. Beautiful colorations on that. Three pound on the dot. This chap's coming home for dinner. Well, actually gonna be breakfast. <laughs> Beautiful. So guys, there are a couple of different ways you can prep your fish for um, smoking. Uh, one is a brine solution that you mix up in water and soak your fish in overnight. Uh, and the other one is just a dry rub, which is the one I'm going to use today. Basically, it's just salt and brown sugar, uh, and you rub that into the flesh. So, I cut off the tail and the head of my fish. You don't have to. Um, but I just, it's, I've only got a small smoker, <laughs> so it just makes it a little easier. Uh, and then you want to butterfly your fish. So you can see here guys, I just run my knife down the backbone of the fish uh, on both sides, running through all the ribs and all the pin bones and then you can fold it out. You can actually fillet your fish as well, um, that's just as easy. I'm not a very good filleter, and I tend to butcher a lot of the meat, so I don't bother with that fanciness. So you can see I'm just folding it out to make it a butterfly. I do also run down the other side with a knife and pull the backbone out completely. <laughs> Well, that's pretty much the hardest part of prepping your fish for the uh, for the actual process. Uh, here, from here, we just put the rub on, and as you can see, uh, soft brown sugar, probably about two to three tablespoons. 
you want to cover the entire fish with the brown sugar. So you need to rub it in, spread it out, and get the best coverage you can over all of the flesh so that the brown sugar can soak in. As you can see here, I'm really patting it in and spreading it out. You want to really sort of push it in, get it into all the little nooks and crannies and get the best coverage you can so that it completely covers the fish. waste any of that extra brown sugar. <laughs> Okay, and now for the salt, and it's exactly the same process, guys. Uh, two to three tablespoons of salt. You don't need as much salt. Um, you don't want it to go too salty. You want that brown sugar to come through. And you just spread that out and do exactly the same process. Make sure that you get good coverage and pat it in afterwards. And you can see here, I just pat it in, spread it out, and make sure it's good, good coverage. So it all gets right in there. From here, guys, place that on a bowl or a plate and throw it in the fridge overnight. And you'll see that it all will turn into a liquid solution and soak into the fish. Now, guys, I just use uh, Manuka chips for my smoker. Um, fairly basic, but I do like the uh, flavor and the smell of them. I know a lot of other guys use a uh, varying different timbers, but yeah, I stick with the Manuka, and it's cheap. So you don't need too much in the bottom, because you don't want to have that overpowering acidic uh, flavor. So don't get too carried away with your, uh, your uh, uh, chips, your wood chips. And then this is quite crucial guys, make sure you get rid of all the excess liquid that's on the fish. Um, otherwise it will just be too strong and too overpowering. You can pat it down if you have way too much on there, but generally just a dingle dangle like that and you're tickety boo. Now for my heat source, I use methylated spirits. Um, by doing this, I can gauge the time that it actually runs for. Uh, I like to cook my fish for about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, so basically with the methylated spirits, I know X amount will do for so long. And once that flame goes out, the uh, fish will be pretty much cooked. You're also better to undercook your fish and let it to sit there and cook after the fact as well, rather than overcook your fish and have it go all tough. So I just put the lid on and let that go for 15 to 20 minutes or until that uh, methylated spirits is all burnt out. Look at that guys, it's changed to nice browny colour, golden brown colour. That's probably more to do with the uh, sugar. But I'll tell you what, it tastes good. Yum, yum, yum. Ow, ow, ow. And it's hot. <laughs> you can hear the kids getting all excited now. Alrighty, well now the proof's in the pudding and we'll uh, have a taste test. What do you think, Watch out for the little bones. bones in that lot mate but let's be careful it's 
Pick it apart with your fingers, you'll be alright. Oh yum. Yum. Pretty good? Yeah. So it's a verdict, guys. Amazing. Pretty amazing. good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Usual amazing mm -hmm. like usual. Mm -hmm. And just like that, guys, it's gone. <laughs> oh, I hope you enjoyed that little vid. Until the next one, happy hunting. <laughs>